the sun goes. Hello everyone and welcome back to the 17th episode of our Road to Cricket Glory guys with New Zealand in Cricket Captain 2020 where today we're going to be taking on Bangladesh in the second test match of two guys. If you missed the first one, you definitely need to go and check it out guys. It was an absolute crack up from start to finish. Either way, you can kind of see the averages here. Blundell, Satna and Watling were the heroes for us last game. There's definitely a lot of work to do for uh, Williamson, Taylor, and Latham. They they definitely didn't quite perform to the normal le their normal levels, and our bowlers really got carted around to the point where I've brought in Ajaz Patel as a spin option, as Neil Wagner is... I mean, he's not even out of form, but he just averaged 73 in that last game. Not really what we're looking for in this current setup right now. That's for sure. He's the worst of our four bowlers. So, unfortunately, Wagner has to sit out this test, which I'm quite worried about. I'm not going to lie, guys. But we move on into this test match. We are taking on Bangladesh. They will be keen to get back at us. That is for sure after the last match. Iqbal Das, Mamanul Haq, Rahim... Uh, that's a different Hassan, not Shakib. It's a different Hassan. So it should be very interesting to see how we go. Right, Kane is going to get straight into it. We're going to call hits, and we've lost the toss, and we'll be bowling first, which is an absolute disaster, guys. It's an absolute flat track, it looks like, and we are going to be bowling. Let's hope we can get some early wickets here. That is for sure. Trent, oh, Tim Southey to Litton Dust. Could be a run out here. Don't think he's going to be quick enough personally. Not quick enough. That's a good maiden there from Trent Bolt and Tim Sally. Still bowling quite well. Restricting them enough. And that's a wicket too. Dust has gone. Bolt traps him in front. How was that one, umpire? Gives him. Nice. Hitting middle. Mominal Hark to the crease now. And he's very good in Bangladeshi conditions. So we've definitely got to be watchful of him. Okay, we need to take Bolt off, Jameson off, uh, Jameson on, sorry. And we're going to bring in Ajaz Patel. It's going to be an interesting uh, watch. But I don't think he's going to get too much purchase on day one here. Jameson to Iqbal. What a delivery that is. We'll get an instant replay on that one, please, because that's a cracker. Swung in late. Knocks out off stump, and he's got no chance to play it. It just swung so late. And so viciously. And Jameson with the key breakthrough. Again, got a bit of swing going here. And that's on the stroke of lunch. We're going to bring back Bolt. To Rahim. And it's a swing and a miss. Jameson cannot get a breakthrough. And that is lunch on day one. Bangladesh will still be very happy with 96 for two. Because they are well and truly got a good net... Or not, I was going to say net run rate. They've got a good run rate going. That's a swing and a miss. Nothing more. Jameson to Bolt. Not to Bolt, but Jameson and Bolt. Nearly gets Hark. Cannot get Hark, though. Tim Sally on now. Hark moves to 50. Needs something here from Ajaz or someone. Hark gets bowled, though. Completely misreads it. And Sally strikes. He gets 72 off. 113 does Hark. And that brings... Uh, Saif Hassan to the crease. He survives. He gets off the mark as well. A jazz. Sally to Hassan. And to swing and a miss. 16 minutes before the end of the session. And Trent Bolt is brought back. And gets Mustafiza Rahman. No, sorry. Must Mustafiq Rahim. Mustafiq Rahim's gone. And that is a big breakthrough there for New Zealand to get on the stroke of T. Marmadula now at the crease, and that is 203 for four. Not the best, not the worst, though. We're still in the box seat. We're, we're still in the game. In fact, we've actually got two recently, uh, I don't know, two newish batters to the crease here as well. So we're going to hope that Trent Bolt and Jameson can take advantage of that. That's a swing and a miss. Jameson to Hassan. Edged up. 
Is there a fielder there? There is, and he takes it. Bolt takes the catch. And Hassan departs for 26, caught in the deep. An interesting dismissal in a test match, of, of course. You might get some criticism for that one. Sally is going at 5 and over. And AJ is at 4s, which is not ideal right now. Nearly gets a wicket, though, does Saudi, but cannot. Ajaz Patel hasn't had a chance all day. And that's his first one. He, new ball. And so he's off. These two have put a decent partnership together now as well. Saudi to Hussain. Edge straight for four. That's quite annoying. It's another swing and a miss. He's definitely on the aggressive. And that's because he's an aggressive batsman, it turns out. And that's the end of day one, 293 for five for Bangladesh. A pretty good start. In fact, a very good start for them, you'd say. Jameson to open the bowling here. We need to be a little bit aggressive at the start of the day because that's probably the only time you're going to get some juice out of this ball. Jameson to Hussain. Gets him for 61. Mosaddiq Hussain gets his fifth uh, test 50 and he's gone. Bringing in uh, Naeem Hassan to the crease. Mamadoula is playing well. And Hassan goes for 16. He is a bowler after all, and that's a good wicket. Jameson trying to get five here. Can he do it? Bolt to Rahman, and he's gone. He's got the fizz. Has Bolt. Ooh, that's a well bowled. Gets Jayid as well. And both bowlers are on four. Looking for a fifth. Can they do it? Bolt needs to be rested. So Sally, can he steal it? Not quite with that delivery. Edged up. This should be taken, and it is. And Mamadoula goes for 55 off 158. And Bangladesh are 351 all out. Jameson gets 4 for 80. Bolt, 4 for 91. Sally, yeah, and Ajaz did not have a good time. That is fair to say. But Sally does pick up the final wicket. And that moves us to the batting. Oh, swing and a miss for Latham um, on the verge of lunch, but they survive. The Toms. That's four buys, and we'll take them all any way we can get them, that's for sure. Hassan to Latham, the first sign of spin. It's down the ground from Latham, that's four. Good shot. 42 without loss. To Blundell now. Hassan, back foot drives, that's four. Nice. The Toms sit, sit in now with a 50 stand. That's a good shot for four. 60 without loss, New Zealand. Sweeps that fine, does Blundell for four more. That's uppish from Blundell. That's four as well. Gee, that's a shot and a half in a test match. Lofts over mid-off. For a pace bowler. And that is a good shot from Latham for four more as well. It, oh, he's hit it straight back to him, though. Blundell goes for 45 on the last ball before T, would you believe it? Just looked to poke it back. Completely got the timing wrong, and his wicket results. Latham should be gone, and he is as well. Gets an outside edge, and it skews all the way to third man. And he's gone, too. Bringing Kane now with Taylor. It's a good shot from Taylor. First delivery. 96 for two here. Bangladesh, that was two key breakthroughs to get Taylor and Williamson to the crease now. Oh my goodness, what a shot from Taylor. Nearly goes for six. Santa Williamson sweeps for four. Taylor edges and gone. Rahim takes the catch in the slips. Nichols to the crease now. Oh, that's a good shot from Nichols. 128 for three as Nichols faces up. And that's a good shot. Back foot drives that away for four. Oh, pulls that full toss away for four. Have some of that. Asante Williamson around the wicket. Oh, Williamson cuts it over, over cover for six. Would you believe it? Now carves that away. I mean, that's the only way to describe that shot, really. Three overs left before stumps. It's a good flick from Williamson, and it will go for four. There's the 44. Nichols drives off the back foot for four. And that is the end of day two.
done and dusted. Gonna get set back in here. Williamson, I think, might be on 49 here. And whips that away. And there it is. He raises the bat before it's even reached the boundary. That's how confident he was of it reaching the boundary. And gets a 50. Does Kane Williamson. His 20, uh, 33rd Test Match 50. The first of, his, of the series. Obviously only two Test Matches, but nonetheless. His first 50 of the series. Whoops that away for four. And now, oh, wow, that's a shot of aggression. What's an edge from Williamson? Gets away with it. Off the back foot. For four more. Bangladesh have taken the new ball. This is a good partnership here for New Zealand. Can we keep it going? It's the real question. It's in the air. Over mid off for six. Williamson's hit three sixes in this innings, guys. Uncharacteristic stuff here from Kane. But he is making it work here. Sometimes your best defense is offense. Something like that. I'm pretty sure the quote goes similar to something like that. Uh, he's going to sneak away a single here. Does Nichols and brings up 50. Nice. For Henry Nichols. Brings up his 11th test match. 50 there. Kane pulls that fine. And it will go for four. 250 up for New Zealand. That's a good back foot drive for four. Williamson on 99. Can he get the 100? Yep, he punches it away. They'll scamper through. And Williamson, classical as always, brings up a test match century. And also brings up a new all-time record partnership. 144 for New Zealand versus Bangladesh for the fourth wicket. This is good work between these two, that's for sure. We can definitely up the rate, I feel, with this pitch being good and these two being set. Oh, and of course I say that. And uh, Williamson Edge is behind. Being too aggressive. And he is gone. Big shame. He walks off for 102 off 185. His 22nd Test Match Century. Can Satna continue his good form from last game? After all, he did get a Test Match Century. Can he back it up is the real question here today. Nichols whips that away for four. And again, repeat dose. Thank you very much. Nichols drives. What a shot that is. Pass mid off. With power too. 300 up for New Zealand for the loss of four wickets. That's a skew from Saturn. It should be gone. It is. Just completely miscued it. And he goes for a disappointing 10 off uh, 48 considering he got a century last game. You can't perform every time, and he doesn't do it today. 306 for 5. Nichols edges it, but it's in the gap. Luckily, there was no short leg there at all. PJ Watling digging in and gets a 4. On the stroke of stumps, I think. No, on the stroke of T. My bad. Watling. Flicks that away. 4. What a shot. Nichols. Oh, swings and misses. He's in the 90s. Cuts away. Pass point for four. Drives down the ground. It'll go for four. He's on 99. Can he bring up the 100? He pulls it straight. And it will just be... Oh, they come back for two. Okay. I was a little bit worried there for a second, but they're going to get there. And that is a test match entry for Henry Nichols. As well, it might be his first in Bangladesh as well. His sixth Test Match century. And uh, he can definitely get a bit more of a move on now. Because New Zealand are now, for the first time in this test, in the lead. 365 for five. In the gap there from Watling for four. You can see that Hassan has really struggled here. 52 overs. We've batted for 152 as well. One for 116. He's not had the best of times. The pitch has definitely not deteriorated enough yet. No ball as well from the spinner. And it's just the woes continue to pile on. Two overs before stumps though. Hassan to Nichols. Oh, shot. Pass bit off for four. Raman around the wicket to Watling. But Watling, aggressive, takes him on and gets four. And that's the end of day three here. Going to have to reset ourselves, of course. 
Watling. Edged in the gap. Okay. Nichols edges over the slips. I mean, it's you hit, it says hit for four. I'm going to say that's an edge. That's an edge for four. Nearly caught, that's for sure. He's going to scamper a single. Just about gets there, and BJ Watling brings up a test match half century. His 20th in his test match career. We're going to get a bit of a move on here. That's a shot from Nichols, because it just seems the pitch is still not doing a whole lot. It's, it is deteriorating, actually, but... Oh, and Watlings goes for 54 off 126. It was a fighting knock. Shot from Jameson. Off the back foot. Now cuts for four more as well. Nichols is going to move away now. He's on 149. Jameson will have the strike, though. He should be out and is gone. He chips it straight to mid on. Southy on. And it's four buys. We'll take them all. Nichols on 149. Hassan. What a shot that is. Straight to mid on. But they get there. And Nichols brings up 150. Well played, Henry Nichols. Beats mid wicket for four more. Is that his highest test score in this game? 162 is the highest he's got in this game. I know he's... I think he's got 170 odd in real life since this game has come out. 461 for seven. Down the ground. That's four from Nichols. Punches for four more as well. Can Southie stick around? It's the real question. No, he's gone. Great catch in the slips. And Trent Bolt will have a lot of work to do. Where possible, Henry Nichols is now going to retain the strike here. Eastern gone, what a catch at the slip. At the slip, I don't know what I'm saying there, but what a catch at first slip. And uh, yeah, Henry Nichols really has to get cracking now if he wants some runs. And he's hit it straight to bit off and he's... Oh my goodness, you're kidding me. What is that? Gone with the one... He's gone with the wrong mitt. And it's stuck in the other one. You're kidding me. Look at this again, guys. Went for the left mitt and it's stuck in the right. Anyway... And Henry Nichols departs for 176 off 417 deliveries. What a knock it was. And uh, New Zealand now lead by 135, which is quite a bit on a wearing wicket here. But is it enough? Because we're probably going to need to chase in the last innings. That's four. We do not need to see that. Sorry. Saudi to Iqbal. Oh, I thought he edged for sure. No. Saudi to Das. Swings and misses. I think that might be out. No, outside the line. Das is playing okay now. Edged and gone off a no ball. Southie's having a shocker test match. Going at fives and over. And when he finally gets the wicket, it's a no ball. And he's got him. He's finally got him edged off. Southie can accelerate something. He gets a wicket. At a key time, we still have the lead as well. Jameson is a big factor here. Ajaz has a little bit more to work with in this innings as well. Can he use it to his advantage, though, is the real question. Iqbal is playing well. Jameson to Iqbal. Oh, no slips. Ajaz, what can he do? Can he get a wicket from nowhere? Spinning too much? You serious? I think it might be spinning too much, guys. Let's have a look. In line. Oh, just going down. Hey, Jazz, his economy's definitely better, and you can definitely tell when a bowler's doing well based on his economy. Edged in that. That's a single. Trent Bolt to Iqbal. He does not edge off. Bolt to Iqbal now. Gee, Iqbal is uh, the, st the struggle for us right now. That's fair to say. Because they're both... This is a massive partnership for Bangladesh. Satna with two balls to go before the end of the session. Edges and the... What? The guy get there. It's the last day here. Okay, Bangladesh, a lead by 47. One wicket down for 180. So we're going to start the day with Saudi because he's got the only wicket. In fairness... Let's go, Bob. 
in fairness. Then Saudi. Got him. Hark's edged off. There we go. We've got a breakthrough. Rahim now to the crease. Comes around the wicket. Saudi and gets him. What a, what a strategy that was. Unintentional, but it completely works. Wonders. And Saudi has got three. Bold him, and Hassan goes for a six ball duck. Iqbal on 99. Can he get his 100? We'll see it shortly, because Mamadullah, he's gone too! Bangladesh! <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> I was like, yeah, why isn't he not out? No ball. Saudi. So, I don't think it was Saudi. It was Bolt. Iqbal gets 100. Well played to Iqbal. Saudi to Iqbal. He gets him bold though. And it isn't a no ball. That's a good start. Okay. Saudi's on four. Looking for a five foot. It's all happened pretty quick. 89's the lead right now. So very much still in New Zealand's control if we can get these last couple of wickets, which we cannot seem to do right now. The new ball is available though. And Kyle Jameson will bowl with it. And nearly gets a wicket. Saudi looking for a five. Cannot get it before the end of the session. And Mamadoula. Oh, you're kidding me. No, not that ball. This ball. Thought it was a swing and a miss. He's dropped it. DJ Watling has dropped it. Massive wicket to be dropping. At this stage of the game. New Zealand want to take control of this test. Edged and gone. mamadoula is gone at short leg. Southey has a fifer. Wild bold, Tim Southey. Jameson nearly has one there. Nearly has another there. Jameson. Edged and gone. What a catch from Taylor. You beauty. Southey looking for six. And gets a sixth. How many wickets left? Two wickets left. He could have eight here. What's his best bowling figures? Seven for 64. Southey. Looking for a record and a half. Can he deliver it? No. No, he cannot. It's outside leg. Trim bolt. It's outside leg. And he can't deliver it because he's going to have to come off the attack. Because he's tired. Bolt him. And Bolt takes the last, second to last wicket and the last wicket. Bolt gets a quick two. Cleans up the tail. 170 to win for New Zealand here. In this test match. 170 to win. The problem is we only have not long. So, we're going to go at fours. Uh, please, let's see the fireworks as well. That'd be good. Edged, though, from Blundell. Down the ground. What a shot for four. 13 without loss. Swings, does Blundell. Misses. And another swing and a miss. We're up in it. Shot from Blundell. It's one day mode. Cuts it for four. And it's playing this tee on day five here. We've got one session to chase 146. Here we go. That's a shot from Lathan for four. Edged away for four. No slips. Only one slip, sorry. You can tell by how a team is going in terms of aggression. That's another edge for four. By in terms of... You can tell their mindset by how many slips you can see, guys. They've only got one slip. So they're very defensive because they could put more slips in should they need them. And we are edging them. A lot, as you can see. We need 125, so we think we're on track. I think that's a good shot from Blundell. Beats cover. Latham beats mid-wicket for four as well. 58 without loss. Blundell hits a four. Now Latham with a four. They're very much keeping up with each other. 100 to win now. That's a four. We just need to be careful of that time because we're going to have to hit like 100 runs in uh, an hour. That's not going to quite cut it. That's a shot from Latham for four as well. Outside leg. Sorry about that. Well, look. That is a good shot off the back foot. Through carb up for four more. Latham's fully set basically, so he can have a crack. That could be a six and is. Brings up his 50 as well. Oh, and goes for four more. Latham, 55 off 57, his 19th test match half century. What a knock it's been for sure. 73 to win here for New Zealand. Blundell pulls that away for four. 
Don't bowl short to blunt out. That's for sure. And he flicks it away anyway for four. And that's a hundred stand between these two now. We are rollicking towards the victory line. Can we get this? The question though. Blundell cuts that for four. And I think that might even be his 50 as well. We'll just see in a minute here. Down the ground. Four more for Blundell. I think it's his 50. We'll find out. It's down leg. It is his 50. Blundell brings up his second test 50. What a start to his career he's had, guys. 60 average. Crazy. Steve Smith who? Have we run out of time here? I thought I saw the time go quite fast. No, 53 minutes. We're good. We're good. 49. Okay, well, we could just have someone unleash. Lundell. And he edges and gone. Damn. That's a big shame. 36 to win in 45 minutes. So we need, we're fine. We should be okay. As long as it's around a minute. Plenty of time. Plus, we've got wickets in the bank. We should probably chuck in... Well, Williamson's gone bold. I was just going to say someone more aggressive. Kyle Jameson's got a strike rate of 70. But let's probably bring Ross Taylor. He's got a good strike rate, it seems. So, I'm going to bring Ross Taylor. It's getting nervy now, guys. That's for sure. Oh, six from Taylor. Look at that. Other than that wicket. Classical Taylor shot. Loves deep mid wicket. And who doesn't? Oh, he goes again for four more. 19 to win now. Through mid wicket for four more. Ross Taylor gets 22 off nine and says, Thank you very much. He's got to finish it though. Gets a full toss. Hits it for six. Six to win. Don't even need to change the aggression really. Latham whips that for four. Or drives that for four. Ross Taylor has the chance to hit the winning runs. Can he do it? To seal the series, two zip. Guys it down to third man and does it. Well done, New Zealand. Well played. They beat Bangladesh by eight wickets in this test match here. Henry Nichols, the player of the match for his 176 of 417 balls. 588 minutes, guys. Let me just quickly pull that out for the calculator for you all. That is 9.8 hours at a crease. Wowie. That is a long time. Nearly 10 hours at the crease there. And New Zealand win the series 2-0 against Bangladesh, which is very important, guys, for our Test Championship hopes and our campaign here. So we can now see that we've got 300 points, uh, 4 of 6 in the series, which is great stuff there. We are now 4th. We were 5th. But England and Australia are obviously still top. Let's have a look at what we've got coming up now in the rest of the championship. We've got two tests against Pakistan and oh, and a three against West Indies. We have five tests remaining in our hopes, guys. And we can earn 40 points each win in the West Indies series and 60 against Pakistan. So guys, these next upcoming matches are very crucial. And in fact, we got an achievement in the game, guys. Win a test series, our first test series win in the game, guys. Really really happy with that right let's get to the next month let's see what's going to happen england are beating ireland oh they uh, swept ireland there in the three match one day series but that is going to be that done that's our fifth series of 14 in this year guys done we're on to bangladesh in new zealand for a three t20 international series guys warming up before the big world cup in 2020 or the t20 world cup in 2020 a lot of 20s there it's exciting stuff it's coming soon in just two series time we've got two series to warm up before we get there let's actually just take a look at the test rankings now we are third on the test rankings we can see that henry nichols is just outside the top 10 a lot of bangladeshis in there i'm assuming they've played a lot of test cricket and done quite well and we don't have a single New Zealander in the bowlers. And that's because Bolt's there. But I think that's because we've only played one or two test matches. Those are our first two test matches in the game, guys. So not too much of a surprise there. Join us next time, guys, for the three T20 International Series against Bangladesh at home. Our home summer finally begins. But it's an important one because it's actually not going to be at home for October and November as we are going over to Australia to compete in the T20 World Cup. That is going to be it for today's episode, guys. So if you did enjoy them, please make sure you leave a like. Subscribe for more content such as this, guys. Don't forget to follow me on my social medias down below, guys, especially on Twitter, guys. I tweet out quite a lot. And 
Join my Discord server to receive exclusive updates for when all of our videos go live, guys. And don't forget to comment your thoughts down below on this series. Anything at all, guys. I read every single comment, so your thoughts would be greatly appreciated in the comments down below. Other than that, guys, I will see you all in the next episode, guys. Goodbye for now.